So in this video, I'm going to be taking a close look at what comes inside the box for the Blue Spot 4G, 5G antenna. Now at the end of the video, I will also do a very quick comparison between this antenna and the Blue Spot Mini 5G antenna, just to give you a bit of an idea as to what they look like size-wise compared to one another, and also just some basic technical overview between the two different antennas. And there will also be links in the the video description below taking you to the blue spot website where you can pick up these antennas and there will also be some links to amazon as well and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and also you may want to consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos to this one in the future as i do intend on doing more videos to do with 4g and 5g routers and also more videos about 4g and 5g antennas so the first two things out of the box are the manual which comes individually packed in a polythene bag and also we have two sma to ts9 adapters now as far as the manual is concerned this is a multilingual manual it is in english german french italian and spanish and also as we can see here it says let us help you get set up free site survey service now what that free site survey is is a service that blue spot will provide free of charge for anybody who buys their antennas whereby they use your postcode to give you a map to show you where your local cell towers are, just so that you've got a really good starting point as to where you should be pointing your antennas to. And inside, there is some very useful information about the antenna and also, as we can see here, how to set up the pole mount. Now, don't forget there are two variations of the 4G, 5G antenna. One is a pole mount, which is what I've got, and then the other one is just a straight wall mount. And then just a quick close-up here of the two SMA to TS9 adapters that come in the box. And basically what these are for are just to convert the ends of the cable or the coax that come with this antenna from SMA to TS9. And that's basically for anybody who is using a router that has got TS9 sockets on it and not SMA sockets. And this is the L-shaped bracket which is used for the mounting system. As you can see here, one side of it connects directly to the back of the antenna, and then this side here is used to connect to the mounting pole. And these are the two U-bolts and the clamps that come with the antenna, and as you can see here, these have come packaged separately with inside their own polythene bag. And then finally to the antenna itself, and as we can see here, this comes packaged in its own polythene bag, which is obviously going to help it during transit to not pick up any scuffs and scratches. So with the polythene bag removed we can now clearly see this foam piece on the back of the antenna so if I just take this off as we can see this is protection for the four mounting posts on the back of the antenna there and those four mounting posts have already got their washer and their nut already pre-applied to them and then if we take a close look at the edging around the back of the antenna what we can see there is the waterproof material used for weatherproofing the actual antenna now as far as the coaxial cables are concerned these are permanently connected to the box as we can see here and each co coaxial cable is five meters long and at the end of each of the coaxial cables we will find a dust cap which once removed will then show us that each of the ends has got a male SMA connection on which is what we use to connect to a compatible router okay so to finish things up here let me just show you the rear of the antenna now that I have put the pole mount system onto the back here now don't forget there are two variants of this particular antenna this one which obviously has the pole mounting system and then as i said earlier on there is another variant which is just a straight wall mount version and then for comparison this antenna here this is the blue spot mini 5g now as we can see there is quite a big difference in the size of both of these antennas now don't forget this antenna here the mini 5g this will only work with 5g so this will not work with 4g radio frequencies however 
The big one here, the 4G, 5G, will actually do both of those frequency ranges, so both 4G and 5G. Also, there's a slight difference with the Mini 5G, as we can see here. This has got N-type connectors on the back, so you actually screw on the coax onto the back of this particular antenna, whereas the coax for the 4G, 5G is already fitted to the antenna. Okay, so that should just about do it then for this video. And if you have found it useful in any way, please do give it a thumbs up. And as I said at the beginning of the video as well, I will be doing more stuff to do with 4G and 5G antennas and routers and stuff various types of speed tests and comparisons and things like that so if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in then please do subscribe to the channel and click on that bell notification icon also there will be links in the video description below taking you to blue spot where you can buy these antennas and there will also be some links to amazon as well i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>